Okay, for this video, we're gonna look at an application um, problem. So what we have here is a closed box is being created with a square base with sides X and a height Y. There's a picture drawn down here. Okay, the volume of the box is 7,500 cubic inches, and we want to find the minimum surface area of the box with the required volume. Okay, um, so what we have to know first is how do we find volume of a rectangular prism? So volume is always found by doing length times width times height. Okay, and the surface area, oops, it should be an A, the surface area is equal to two times the length times width plus two times the width times height plus two times the length times height. Okay, um, so what we want to do here is we want to replace our L and W and H with our variables X and Y um, just to make it easier for us to solve. So we know the volume is 7,500 cubic inches. So we would say 7,500 equals length and width are both x, so that would be x squared times y. So if I had to solve for one of these variables to make it easier so I only have one variable, the easier one would be to solve for y so I don't have to deal with the square root. You can solve for x, but then you have to deal with the square root and it's a lot more complicated, so it's easier just to solve for y. So we can say that y is equal to 7,500 divided by x squared. So now what we're going to do is we're going to write our surface area as a function of x. So the first thing that we want to do is look at what this would look like with our x and our y. So we have 2xy plus we have 2, the um, w and h would be our width and our height would be um, 2xy, and then our last one, and I know I wrote this backwards, I should have done the other one first. This should have been x squared. I looked at the wrong variable, but it still gives me the same thing. So if I simplify this, we really have 2x squared plus 4xy, just to make it so that the like terms are already added together so we don't have to deal with that in the next part. Okay, um, so now what we want to do is the surface area is written as two different variables, so we want to write it as one variable, so we're going to replace this y right here with what it's equal to. Okay, so we're basically writing surface area as a function of x. So the way that we can write it in function notation is that we're talking about our surface area as a function of x. And that is equal to 2x squared plus 4x times 7,500 divided by x squared. Okay, so if we simplify this, um, we could write it as 2x squared plus 4 times 7,500, which ends up giving us 30,000 divided by x. Because since I have 1x here and 2x's here, they would cancel each other out. So you can leave it like this if you wanted to, or um, if you are required to, you could write this as one function. So what I could do is I could make it to where this has a denominator of x2, and so this would really be 2x cubed plus 30,000 over x. So this is also an acceptable function. So if it asks you to come up with the function of your surface area with respect to your variable x, this is what you would write, is either this one or this one. They're both equivalent expressions. They mean the same thing. Okay, so remember our goal is to find the minimum surface area. So we want to look at this in a graphing utility. So you want to use either Desmos or a graphing calculator um, to find this. For this particular one, I'm going to use Desmos. I will also do the same example with the TI-84 and the TI-Inspire to show you how to do this. Okay, so let me grab Desmos. I've already gone there, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to type in the equation. It does not matter which one you use, so just use the one that you're most comfortable with. Um, just to show you that I get the same thing, if I plug in 2x squared plus 30,000 divided by x, 
Okay, right now we can't see this because 30,000 divided by X, it makes it go off the screen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adjust my windows and you'll kind of just have to play with this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my X axis and move it to 100. Okay, and my Y axis I am going to take and I'm gonna move this one um, to our original volume because that's the most that it's going to be of 7,500. Okay, so now we can see our graph. And like I had said, I did want to show you that it doesn't matter which one you do, so you get this graph here. Or had I plugged it in the other way um, as 2x cubed, so if I would have plugged in the other equation, 2x to the third power plus, sorry, plus 3,000 divided by x, it, sorry, I put 3,000 instead of 30,000. That's a big mistake. That was my mistake, not the calculators. Okay, so you can see that both of these give the same graph. So it doesn't matter which format you put it in, you will get the same graph. And if you look right here, this does give us the minimum point. So um, on Desmos, it automatically gives you the minimum point. So we can see that our minimum surface area is approximately 2,298.928 square inches. And um, that happens when our X value is 19.574. So this is not going to be exact because it wasn't a perfect cube, um, but it is close enough. So what we're going to do is we're gonna write it down. Our minimum surface area is approximately 2,298.9 9.28 inches squared. Remember, because we're talking about area, it is inches squared and not cubic inches. When x is approximately 19 point, and I forgot, 574 inches. So this just came directly from using the decimals. I just wrote this number right here down. Okay, and just round to however many places it tells you to round to. Okay, uh, for this, we do still need to find Y if it asks for the dimensions. This one didn't, but just in case it does ask you for the dimensions. To find Y, we would simply take um, 7,500 and divide it by X squared. So Y is going to be approximately 7,500 divided by 19.574 squared and when you calculate this because you're dealing with an approximate here it does give you an approximate answer and it gives you 19.575 inches which is basically the same thing as what we got when we did the 19.574 um, what ends up happening is anytime you're trying to maximize the surface area, or sorry, minimize the surface area, but maximize the volume, you're going to end up with a cube where all of the sides are basically the same. So if it asked for the dimensions of this, the dimensions would just be, and I'm going to round to two decimal places, and I can't spell dimensions. Um, all right, there we go trying to talk and write, you end up making mistakes. Okay, so the dimensions would be approximately 19.57 inches by 19.57 inches by 19.57 inches. Okay, so basically what happens is you do end up with a cube and our minimum surface area is this value right here. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.